one. Okay, sorry. So, because he's ranged, he should have a bit of an advantage. He's actually been getting uh, killed top of top. Sorry about that. Until he gets the Berserker's Call off. Uh, Ice in trouble though. And that Battle Hunger to slow him down. That Berserker's Call plus the Firefly. Ice is going to go down really easily there. And Life Stealer is left alone. Ooh, and misses. Axe. The Berserker's Call increases the armor, so he's not going to take that much damage. Now the open wounds is available. Ice trying to survive, but Ice will not make it. Can't deny himself quite yet. And the Axe will make it on the other hand. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, we see the Timber going pretty far in, going against the Invoker. Sunstrike's available. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Thought the Timber was really going to commit there. Did not. Meanwhile, bottom lane, this, again, the Sunstrike misses. They were expecting Kelter to actually Dark Pact out of this one. And Mind Games happened again. That Dark Pact will put him at really low health. One more hit on it to the trick. And Ling will get that kill. Now, ooh, we're trying to get that Spike Harpus. That Scumbag Flinch. Or, not Scumbag Flinch. Scumbag Stun. Those Screams dealing a lot of damage. One last mana. Burn will do the trick against this the coddle as well. That was a great eating of the mango. I'm sorry that the I guess level one, even if the range is really bad. Wow, what's happening with the servers? Ice in trouble. And the battle hunger, that's gonna finish him up. Boom. Don't says the X. That's really unfortunate. I think the SCA servers are not doing too well. That's why this is happening. Orientos Ionics, he's being hit by the Coddle Blast, and also with the Berserker Skull. Now the Firefly coming out, there's something to stop him though, and they're gonna defend this completely. The Axe though wants to kill Ice, has the dunk, and Ice will die once again. In this game, suffering far too much. The Timber though is on the chase, has a haste available, gonna go onto Psionics, and this could be a good kill on the Timber, but that haste. Used for absolutely nothing. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, it seems like Raji is having trouble against Keltuzard. That last dark pack will finish off the Invoker, and the Great Mage will end up going down. Yeah, I know. I see a server. That's the SCA server. I'm aware. It just sucks because we're watching a good game. And just... Anyway, in comes the double impale. Koala actually. Wow, I can't believe Koala linked to the impale. But they do use the lasso in this situation. Are they gonna find the yeah, Abbey? I mean, they have a stun. They also have a Lana Burn. And it's available Sun Strike as well. And that a combination of the Nyx plus the Invoker is far too strong, even committing a Cold Snap. But there they go with the Axe, with the Berserker's Call to bring him back. Yamate, scurry back to base, little Nyx. Scurry back to base. Oh no, the Lasso, they took the Nyx. The Nyx is gone. They're gonna take him. Yamate, what are you gonna do? Gonna go down there. And, si and now Sionis, under the Axe, wants to revenge. Once again, the revenge for his teammates, disruption to stop the batter from doing anything. That shadow poison will finish off the axe. And no lasso for the batter or anything, really. Actually, no, sorry. This oh, wait, right? No way, Koala. How do you miss a Berserker's Call, man? Ling not being caught out there because, oh, they didn't get a cover the lasso. Why would, why would you stay there, Ling? For the love of God, why? Oh, and that, oh my. <laughs> I have seen, like, 16 misplays in one... Small area of time. First circle's call miss. Lasso used because Ling did not decide to go back, and then Lasso failed because nobody else committed for some strange reason. And then that's a wasted Lasso. Meanwhile, Nyx gonna find Zephyr, and he has the li life dealer bomb. That's gonna be a dead batter to begin with, but Yamato will also go down. Can you spike Carpus to save himself from Keltuzard? Psionix really unhappy with this because they did kill a batter, but in exchange, he lost his friend. And you know that life dealer likes their friends. Oh, Link. Oh, no. Why would you do that? Earth Splitter coming out, but is that, will that do much? It will at least hit the Timber and the Slark, actually. Quite a lot of damage. The Monic Purge coming out of the Timber, but the Blinding Light to disengage here. It's fine. You just, you know, you level it up afterward. You might even skip your own. Nah, that's good. Yeah, I'm a dip being caught out and destroyed. That TP was cancelled so quickly. <laughs> that TP that was just like, oh, no, no, no. No way I'm going in. Absolutely anything, and so they move to. Uh, an unknown area, but you know, oh, here comes Nyx and this bad rider going in and going into his own death. Even the vendetta was committed there for absolutely no reason. The demonic purge, vendetta, hey, everything when they could have just used cold snap and he would have died. Anyway. But he's farming like the jungle or something and then attacking there because he won't expect losing a shell. He is he, of course, expecting losing a shell that anyway. Oh, they caught no, like, good job though on the impale, stopping Kelda's heart from damaging and Lifespeeder's up in the high ground. What can Sionix do? There's the Air Splitter, Kelda's heart in trouble. The Shadow Dance comes out by Kelda's heart, but oh no! They stopped the timber so he can't actually kill. No, he will kill. He will kill. He will kill the Shadow Demon anyway. Now going on to the Bat Rider, and the timber saw regretting his choices, regretting every single one of his life choices as he tries to scurry away. 
quickly with a timber chain. They're gonna try to catch him anyway. The call snap is here. Yabi, regret your sins. Boom, they say. And he goes down. So that was, I got way too excited for that. I was just, I really like when Timber dies because I hate. We're just kind of aimlessly wandering. That alacrity plus life theater, that was nice, no problem. The next room, let's be able to with it. Oh, Bernardo's call, but they're gonna save the Nix with the disruption. The Sunset will hit, but the, oh, so will the Earth later. And now the blinding light just pushes them forward, allows the stun to happen, and the Connell will die. Killed the in the back line, starting to kill uh, Ice. But, <clears throat> sorry. But Psyonix wants to go and Kaltazar anyway, that ice wall is perfect, it actually starting to slow them down enough. There's no mana left on him, Psyonix is chasing him down! Kaltazar, double stun, plus the sleep, Kaltazar will go down here, and so will the Bat Rider, two down! Now going onto the Timber, so can they find him? They don't have a blink on the Nyx, oh, just yet, so they're gonna fight a couple though. I don't know if Life Stealer and Nyx can fight all these three. But they will find the Nyx Assassin, there it is, the stun, and Kaltazar has no time to Dark Pact! The Invoker will help out with that Sun Strike and will kill him off both. Now they realize that they're in trouble. They just found the enemy team and that's really good. The Open Wounds to help the Knicks see if they can at least... No, no, never mind. The Open Wounds to help the Knicks do nothing. To help the Knicks die. Now they're gonna push the Life Stealer away and he's a little contagious here. Anyway though, Psyonix. Usanji Asha. I mean, he went for that instead of the Eco Saber, but I really do like him above the Eco Sabers in this game. Echo Saber. And the Knicks... Slark actually went for BKB above Echo Saber as well. It's no Echo Saber game. Okay, what, what the fuck just happened? When did, when did Battery die? Well, Invoke just come in. Oh, no, and then Blink back. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Just imagining what the Invoke is going to look like in the late game. It's reassuring for them. Oh, this god was so dead. Never mind. We're going to find the Slark again. This Slark is really unlucky. Oh, no. Impale, Sunstrike, combo's going to happen again. Goodbye. Hey, hey, fishy. Gonna go down. I don't have to think of anything. It might be second my story. And Nick's going in. That combo with a sound strike. Okay. The Quasic Sword of Volk is working out really well for them. I still think Quasic Sword is being fantastic. The Quasic Sword is working too. Oh, that's a really good initiation. The arm blade has not been activated, so he's actually pretty weak. But the disruption to save him. Uh, Tornado actually catches the Slark. And they will kill the axe really quickly now. I'll go into the battery. Battery will also go down. Use the lasso, but actually failed to do much with it. Keltuzard using his ultimate. But life still has the infest, can use it to get not available either. Oh, were they actually waiting for that? No way. It's Kiltus aren't gonna die again. They see him, they're gonna destroy him. How did they see him? That's it. That's sentry. That's sentry. Fantastic placement. Barely seeing each other. Ooh, almost catching him out. Oh, they do catch him out with the uh spike car fist. Now the Yule Scepter plus the sleep plus the sun strike. They don't even yeah, they don't even need to get the life stealer out. And this is good because now they don't know the Life Stealer is actually in the Nyx because the Life Stealer seemed to attack there but wasn't actually. But the Life Stealer never came out, right? So the Nyx oh, coming in again and there's no Sun Strike but they don't actually need it anymore. The Assault Grass hasn't been finished yet but they have enough damage to kill the Life the Stark now. And now the Assault Grass is finished, that's gonna be easy. The attack speed reduction is huge. Now, the Cuddle Blast gonna come out but the Nyx is already set. I mean, he destroyed this poor Cuddle. Using that Illuminate and then Spike Corpus to stop him. So Spike Corpus, which did, gave back all the damage from the Illuminate and hit him once with Vendetta and killed him with Impale. Nyx is particularly strong against Kyle. Can easily solo kill him. And look at this. Now they're gonna fight. So is ready and there's no life to run here. There's an issue but the Invoker is still pretty powerful, hasn't done much. Uh, however, all the BKBs are out and he has to, he might have to Ghost Walk here. Raji is moving around, using the Ice Wall very efficiently. Yamati as well, he's just borrowed around. Doesn't want to stop Sheffer from TPing. I don't think he sees him or doesn't have enough range. Good. Either way, they do find Yabby at least, and that with the cold snap will mean a dead timber. That's everything that that's the only thing that dies there. Together with the Tim with the Elder Titan, those are the only two that die in that engagement. I mean if you look at the items in the MATM, I haven't really talked about them much, but how do you how do you win if you're RRQ? Okay, that's an interesting thing. So first of all, Sonny Yash on the Oh, that's a really good way to win, actually. Get the lasso kill, but Yama did, but the disruption of the shout even too strong. Now the Earth Splitter also coming out. Not gonna hit anything because he doesn't quite have enough range. But the axe will die regardless of the sun strike. Goodbye, an axe. So the best way to, to win right now. Oh no, can he kill us? No way, they took away all his mana! That mana burn destroys the Slark and now 66 seconds to the sidelines. If he doesn't have to if he doesn't buy back, the blinding light is there, but the rage is also there to dispel it. No need for it. They just go for the tower now. And the recall brings back Timber. Timber. That's not a good recall. He also dies in a matter of seconds. Go for the melee back, Slark has to flex 
now. Taking the, the, the melee racks. They will kill Psyonix though. Wait until his rage ended. That was pretty good timing. But this could also be the end of the Batrider. The MP will finish him off. And now the Stark without any mana will go down here. The GG comes out as they know Kel Tuzard will go down. RQ will lose this game number two. And thus will end up for a 2-0 in favor of Orange Tarin. And definitely a great match by Tarin. Very well played. What could RQ have done to win this game? I mean, the lineup was designed to counter that Slark, and that Slark was just not the best of pickups. They counter him pretty